Bass players can get a bit of a bad press, or they it's easy to play the bass, or it's so simple, or can't you play the bass, da 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 da. And actually, the precision bass that I've got here was designed so that guitarists could train up to play the bass, where the double bass was much, much harder to play. Now, playing the bass is actually much, much harder than it seems in terms of things like keeping really good sense of rhythm, good tone, good constant dynamic range, and also being able to find your way around the fretboard. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is basically things that you need to know, and I'm not gonna show you anything that you don't need to know. Let's have a look. First off, Practicing with drums. Now, if you've got GarageBand for iOS, you can do this. If you don't, don't worry, because you just go onto Google and type drum rhythm 80 beat beats per minute or 100 or whatever tempo you want, and it'll just play for you. So you've got access to drums. So I'm gonna play, press play on the uh, iPad here, and I'm just going to play this note, G. That's it, just that. But I'm gonna play it in several different rhythms. So, all I had was a G, that's it. But I was trying to go with the drums and create some different rhythmic backdrops. Now, as a bass player, that's pretty essential. You've got to work with the kick drum as well. So if you listen to the kick drum on this, it goes bum, ja, bum, bum, ja. So you could re replicate something that basically goes with this. So that gelled a bit better because I was working with a kick drum as well as just keeping keeping time there. Now, of course, you can do anything you like. You can do any rhythms at all, but you don't want to make anything too complicated. The bass player's job is to drive things along and not do all that flashy stuff. There's that famous video on Facebook that went around of that bass player playing September by Earth, Wind and Fire. And the gig fee in the top right hand corner of the screen diminished every time he did this sort of flashy uh, sort of stuff on the bass. The irony being that he's extremely good bass player, but he clearly understood that actually playing the bass is not about the flashiness, it's about the solidity. Now, leaving the rhythm aside for the moment, because we've sort of covered that. When you're playing in a band, if you're playing on a, in a song and you don't really know the song, you just need to know what key it's in. So, if we're in G, that key, key of G, G is chord one. Chord two is gonna be a minor chord, which is A minor. So I'm gonna go to fifth fret there. Chord three is B minor, so I'm going to go to seventh fret. And then chord four is C, chord five is D, and chord six is E minor. Now, although there is an easier way to play it on the bass, if you work with this grid system, it means that you can get around and you can kind of predict where you're going. You don't need to learn all the sort of different fingers and patterns and all of that. You can, of course, do that afterwards. But if you're doing, I don't know. That's a fairly predictable chord sequence. So I went from G to D to E minor to A minor to B minor and C. So I actually used all six chords there. That's not extremely usual with a song. It's usually four chords. G, D, E minor and C. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone. So you're just using this grid. You've got this fret, which is your key, up two frets, up two frets, next string at the same fret you started on, up two frets, up two frets. That gives you your chords one to six. 
Now, there is a chord of the flattened seventh, which is very common in rock and pop stuff. And that means that you just, when you've got to your chord six, chord seven is just next to it. So if I've got G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, and F major, like that. Now, of course, you can have anything in between, but actually, if you've got this grid system here, everything else just appears between those notes. So, for example, G and A, you've got an A flat here, you've got a B flat, a D flat, and an E flat. So you've basically got pretty much everything there. Everything. Now, wherever you are on the fretboard, if the key is now C, I could do exactly the same thing here. I could go C, D minor, E minor, F, G, and A minor with my B flat there. But it's getting quite high on the bass. So that's the sort of the, the downside to this. So once you've worked out where the notes are, C, D, E, F, G, A. So I've played it slightly lower down here. There's your B flat for your chord of the flat and seventh. What you can do is you can start to work with lower notes where you get to the, the particular chord. So C and D can't be played lower on the bass. That's, that's fine. But E can. It's the open E string. So you could go C, D, E, and then F, G, A, and then B flat for your chord of the flat and seventh. So anywhere on the bass, you can get a lower note by simply going up two strings and down two frets. So for example, I've got a G there and I've got a G there. And likewise, you can go the other way for an octave up. That's a useful thing anyway. So sticking in G, for example, there's my seven chords, most commonly six. Uh, I can basically play an octave. I can play octave patterns on in any of those notes. So G, A, B, C, D, E of that. So I can basically go around and play a pattern. If the chord sequence only, you know, if you're on one chord for a full two bars, for example, you can do stuff within those chords. But you don't want to go too complicated. Let's say I've got G, two bars of G, two bars of D, two bars of E minor and two bars of C. Using the drums, here we go. Okay, so I've created something there, G, D, E minor, and C, but actually that might be just a bit over the top. It depends what else is happening. We're all playing for that top line. We don't want to get in the way of it with all that sort of flashy stuff. I also used what's, what bass players think of as the fifth of each note. So if I had a G here, I've got an octave G here, as we described just now, but in between that, on the same fret, you get the fifth. This forms pretty much the basis of, you know, if you're in a country band. You've got root and fifth. And actually the bass player's job is to really drive that along with the drummer. So the bass player's job is really important. It might seem really simple, but it's vital. It's vitally important that it's both there and rhythmically driven. So that covers major keys. What happens with minor ones then? Well, it's a similar pattern, but instead of the pattern that we had for the major, you just bring the, these two notes down a semitone. So we've got, instead, we've got chord one, 
we've got chord two, we've got chord three, which is a fret lower than it was in the major key. And then we've got chord four and five, and then chord six, which is lower than the sixth that we had before. And then chord of the flat and seventh. So all you need to do for minor is just to bring the, these two notes down a semitone. That's all you need. The chords that you get in a minor key also map onto this particular thing. If we've got G minor, B flat major, C minor, D minor, F major. Now this means if you've got everything in one place, so there's your minor, and you can just translate that anywhere on the fretboard. Notice also that the, both of the shapes that I've played cover three strings only, not four, which means that you can do the same thing, you know, on a different string. So for example, G minor is that. That's the natural minor scale in G. If you're in C, we just shift everything down. Like that. This means that you can begin to predict what's going to happen. So if you're a bass player in a band, you're not really sure how the song goes. If you've got these patterns under your fingers, basically nine times out of ten, you'll be able to predict where things go. That comes from experience. So going to an open mic night on a, uh, as a bass player, or you just join a band, or you go and play whatever, play along with YouTube and see if you can predict where things are going to happen. That's bass playing.